Beans, beans, the musical fruit. The more you eat, the more you toot. A schoolyard song implying that beans are a harmless vegetable. However, this gateway vegetable is on the rise in a very big way. And that can only lead to one thing, a very smelly nation. Emily is an 18-year-old student living in the UK. She suffers from bean aphia, an addiction to baked beans. I'd go home after school and just calm myself down with a can of beans or two. We always wondered what Emily was doing in her room. Mum and Dad thought she might be doing drugs, but nothing prepared us for this. When I went shopping, all I would buy would be beans, beans, beans and more beans. It became a big problem really quickly. Beans, beans, they're good for your heart. Beans, beans, they make you fart. A story Emily knows all too well. Obviously, if you eat that many beans, it's um, it's gonna produce a smell. She stank, in a nutshell. Totally stank. The body's reaction to the beans produces carbon dioxide and hydrogen expelled from the body as flatulence. Once I, um, I farted so loudly that thought I was going to take off. She was getting through about 11 or 12 tins a day. I mean, how is that even physically possible for her body? In the end, she was spending about £200 a week on just baked beans. That was tough. We were just about managing, but she, she just wanted more. More? She started wanting bigger things. Beans with sausage in them. Beans on toast. It became a nightmare. It got so bad that I would just lie in bed with three cans of beans and just eat them uh, cold out the can. I didn't even use a spoon. <laughs> and as you might know, when you're down, that's when they start kicking you. I got called all sorts of things, um, bean jar, bean breath, has been, bean bag. Bean goblin, beanosaurus rex, hepatitis beans. The bean machine. People would actually sarcastically say, how have you been? I, I did once get really drunk and call her a bean mole. And I've always regretted that. And when they insulted me, I just, I just comforted myself with more beans. It's a vicious cycle. So how do you intend to quit? Are you going to go cold turkey? Um, no, I'm vegetarian. But your brother said you ate beans and sausages. That's how bad it got. Beans turned me into something I'm not. A meat eater. So how do you intend to quit? I'm gonna get rid of all my beans. My Beano comics, my Mr. Bean DVDs. Throwing them all out. So four months after Emily finally gives up beans, just how are her family getting on? I think we're all immensely proud of Emily. She's off the beans completely now. Such an improvement. I mean, as a family, we're just happy again. I've not touched a single baked bean in four months now. Um, obviously there's been times where I've been tempted, but I rose above it. Um, not just for my family, but you know, for myself. It's been one long, <laughs> amazing journey. I'm finally happy again. Um, all I've got to deal with now is my high dependency on cocaine and I'll be sorted. If you'd told me three months ago she'd be supporting recovering bean addicts, I, I never would have believed you. Her has been campaign has really taken off the ground. I go to bean rehab and try and prove to other bean addicts that there's actually other vegetables out there and that some foods are tastier than beans. You just have to go out and find them. The question on everyone's lips is, what does the future hold for baked beans? Only time will tell. I've been your host, Nick Gray.